Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Friday, August the 13th, 2021. Friday the 13th, spooky. <laughs> but you guys, being transparent here, you guys know I film ahead of time to keep up with readings. Um, today is the last day for the Lion's Gate portal to be opened. So if you haven't set out your manifestations, it is 1221. So, you know, numerology. Um, set out your intentions, do, you know, set out positive intentions, give them a purpose. So please, you know, bring in financial abundance or financial stability so I can get out of debt, you know, gives it a purpose, you know, please release all fear, worry, and doubt to alleviate my anxiety, my depression, my fear, you know, so give it a purpose, try to put, you know, you know, we put things out there, but what is it for? What is the purpose of this coming forward? So going to the Wonderland Tarot, we have the four oysters, which is the four coins. So release all fear, worry, and doubt, speaking of that. And, you know, hanging on to things close to our chest in a fear of losing them. But it's also um, saying that you have nothing to fear at all. We have the ten of oysters talking about, you know, the ultimate happiness, you know, with home, with work, with relationships, with uh, just ourself, our mental health. Everything is just in a beautiful, perfect state. You know, enjoying this moment. We have the Eight of Wands. So, uh, Eight of Pepper Mills. But I feel like with this dog, it's like he's, it feels like the dog's boxed in. And Alice is trying to show them, like, a way out. Like, that these aren't so close together, so come this way. So, I feel like Universe is saying, like, you know, maybe you're feeling boxed in in life. And they're opening a window for you. They're opening a door. We have strength. Usually I get with this one is where, you know, the lion has a pair of glasses on and I feel like it's actually seeing itself for what it truly is. This beautiful unicorn, unicorn you know, embarking in all of uh, Leo's best or fire signs, best traits, bravery, courage, strength, resilience, you know, stop, you know, living in fear, worry and doubt. So twice, you know, leave the fear and worry and doubt behind. We have justice. So someone taking a legal step with you, they've cho chosen you in the end. You know, we have balance, right? And I feel like someone's perspective has changed of you. So, like, the, it, you know, for instance, if you're not engaged, you become engaged. If you are engaged, I feel like you elope. And this is where they were showing me that um, there's a significant date in 2022, in March or April, where it's like your, your, your you know, relationship anniversary or some sort of day that's significant that you like, you know, maybe you're playing with numbers, you know, so February 2nd, so 2-2-2022. Two, two, so they're saying that there's there's a significant day at the beginning of the year there that you're um, aiming for. But the way that the bride is, like her gown is, the way that the scenery is outside. And I, I'm only saying this from the point of view of being in Canada. You know what I mean? This is where I'm, you know, kind of getting this from. Is that it will be like, you know, March. So like in Ontario where the weather is warmer. So having a March wedding, you know. But because the way that the, the um, bride's gown is... It's like, you know, it's off the shoulder. It's sunny outside. You know, the groom doesn't even have his coat on. So, it, you know what I mean? I feel like it's a little warmer out. So, maybe the end of March going into April. So, we have the four oysters, according to the Wonderland Tarot. Love, wealth, obsession with possessions, misery, selfishness, and ability to understand or support charity. So, I feel like this is where you've gone too far with things. You don't have fear, worry, and doubt. You're not holding things close to your chest. I feel like you're not he heeding spirit's warning and you're spending, spending, spending. And I feel like it's like, you know, you got to take it easy. You know, I feel like they're saying, don't forget where you are. You know, when you, you were praying for this, you know, this financial relief and now you're wasting it. So be very careful. You know, they keep talking about, you know, wave four. So be careful. We go to the 10 oysters on the far right. So Ten of Oysters is the Ten of Pentacles, so that ultimate success and abundance, home and hearth, prosperity, riches and security, safety, a long family history, inheritance. So, you know, with no harm to none, we don't want no harm coming to anyone to have this inheritance, you know, so hopefully everything is good, but, you know, they are talking about a windfall of money. So with the Eight of Pepper Mills, which is the Eight of Wands, swift action, a sudden progress or, or movement, Hasty movements, advancement too quickly for easy assimilation. So when they're talking about a stiff progression, a sudden progression, excuse me, I feel like 
a glow up. I feel like, you know, all of a sudden you're in this, and I don't feel like for bad reasons at all. I just feel like you have like stage fright or you don't, you're not the type of person that likes to be in front of the lens. You like to be behind, but you're, you're, you're a creative person. You like to be behind, behind the lens. You want to control the creativity, the artistry of the whole thing. You know, you know what angles to look for and you know, the sun gleaming through the clouds. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like you want to be part of the, 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 the construction of this, you know, I don't feel like you want to be the subject of it. So we go to strength. You know, we get that yellow hue. So we're following our intuition, control of a situation, bravery, bravery, unwavering attention to a quest, a line, ability to overcome temptation. So ability to overcome temptation. And I definitely feel like this is where they're putting you, you know, like, you know, with the yellow hue, pay, follow your intuition. Yeah. Buy yourself a treat, but don't go crazy. They were highlighting Christmas not to go crazy. You know, just sit there and, you know, you don't have to, you, your love should not have to be about amount. Your love should not equal the amount of money that you spend on someone. You know what I mean? I feel like your presence is enough. I obviously know that, you know, Christmas, a lot of people expect gifts. So yes, buy people gifts, but have a budget. You know what I mean? Start saving for Christmas. So that way you're not spending on, you know, out of savings or out of debt, you know, you know, put it away, put it away, put it away, you know? So I feel like this is what they're talking about. Following your intuition with that. Um, my, mind over matter, matter over mind, a Herculean effort for a personal end for the sake of the world at large. So I felt like when I was on IG, I felt like, you know, um, you know, very Chiron energies where it's like, you know, I need to move forward with my life. I've healed um as as far as i can tell from this and it's just like things have been coming up lately obviously with lion's gate being open but it's just like you know what i can't you know stay in that energy obviously if i put myself out there and i get that feeling in my gut intuition you know that it's too soon or maybe it's not time then i will obviously listen to that you know i'm not going to sit there and go against what my body feels you know i'm always going to listen to myself you know, there is no timeline to when you, you know, put yourself back out there. If you ever put yourself back out there. I've been in groups where people, it's been 25 years and they still haven't moved forward. And that's totally fine. There is no timeline to anything. You know, maybe some people, oh, that's a long time. Yeah, well, you know what? It's fine. You know, everybody's journey is different. So we end on justice. You know, justice is a light side of yin and yang equilibrium, a physic a physique and prospective, a fair solution, logic in life and deed, impartiality, good advice and firmness of character. And I feel like someone is speaking up for, on someone's behalf, saying, you know, kind of opening their eyes like she's a good one. He's a good one. You don't let that one go. You know, don't, you know what I mean? You know, you see how they captivate the room? Like positivity. You know what I mean? And I feel like you love this person. It's not like you're like suddenly realizing this, but it's just like, I feel like you're suddenly realizing with this, you know, change your perspective. I feel like you're like, I cannot live without this person. You know, I, I cannot see my life functioning without this person in my life. I enjoy waking up to them every single day. I enjoy saying goodnight to them every single night. I enjoy watching movies and laughing and joking and smiling. And, you know, they get my corks. They know how to cheer me up when I'm not feeling, you know, my best, my 100%. So it's just kind of like that aha moment, you know, like the ace of swords. And it's just like, you know what? It's, it's long overdue. So I'm going to sit there and, and, you know, either propose or you guys elope and get married. And then in the, in 2022, I like maybe more the world will be open. I don't know what the, the delay is there, but I see it's a, it's just like you and the justice of the peace and your partner. And then it's like a bit an outdoor celebration. So maybe that's what it is. You're waiting for the outdoors to open. I'm not sure. Or you're waiting for that specific date like they were bringing up, you know, sometime in 2022 in the beginning of the year. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday, August the 13th, 2021. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.